Okay, our final performer for the evening. 2022, she was inducted into the Blues Music Victoria Hall of Fame as People's Choice Victorian Blues Legend. She is now a Blues Music Victoria Ambassador. And way back in 2019 BC, before COVID, she was a semi-finalist at the International Blues Challenge in Memphis. She is one of the finest soul blues singers you will ever hear. Give a huge Christmas blues party. Welcome to the Andrea Mar Band. Merry Christmas, everybody. I don't know. I think uh, Blues Santa was scared to kiss me this year. So you guys ready to party up with us? You try out all different kinds of blues dancing, is that alright? I wrote this first one for all the women in blues that inspired me. This one's for Coco Taylor, for Etta James, Billy Holiday. This one's called Takes a Woman to Sing the Blues. Hey!
wrote off our very old album back in, I think, 2009. Hey, somebody's alarm's going off. It's bedtime. <laughs> uh, Robbie, go to bed. So this one's called Steam Up the Windows. For all you nasty people who like to go parking late at night, you know who you are. Yeah! Back in the day, you know? <laughs> gigs of my life was actually following John Cleary at the uh, Wangaratta Festival of Jazz and Blues and we're like, what happened here? How did this happen? So John Cleary like rips the place apart and then I come up with my little funky hitman band. Mind you, we had a ball but it was terrifying, just saying. I feel so damn good 
but I'll be glad when I got the blues. Hey, I feel so damn good. I'll be glad when I got the blues. Hey, I'm so down, get up.
she knows she's loved.
Sometimes you uh, have to refer back to some of the greatest songs you've ever heard. This is one of them. Who's heard Tower of Power much? Have you heard Tower of Power much? Tower of Power are the funkiest dudes on the planet. They have about ten horns. Well, yeah, I haven't got my dance moves yet, you know. I'm trying to get my funky dance moves. And how many horns do we have on stage tonight, uh, Andrew? Yeah, half, right, John? <laughs> <laughs> That's his usual joke, ladies and gentlemen. The first few years John and I started working together, he used to come over with his lovely little acoustic guitar, big smile on his face and whisper dirty lyrics in my ear. And I had to try and keep a straight face and try to deliver them and one day I got him. I just came up with the filthiest line and I actually went over to him and he just couldn't finish the song. I got you, I she's, got you. She's being corrupted. More than I was so innocent and so sweet. You know, can you see my halo? Yeah. So this is the, this is responsible. So anyway, this one's called Don't Change Horses by Tower of Power. And uh, you know, I'm just going to try some boogie moves if you want to dance with me. <laughs> Sure. 
guys are. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was fun. We're doing all these weird things tonight. This is a song I wrote a while ago, a long time ago. I had one chin back in the day. One chin. I was so young. So young. This was about, okay, this was album number one, I believe I wrote this song on. So I'm up to album number nine now, okay? So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy that I have lasted this long. I just want to shout out to the Melbourne Blues Appreciation Society. Give it up to them. Do you know, I've been singing, uh, I started singing my dad's band and he had this hotel gig every Saturday night. So I had to do one set of jazz, one set of country, one set of rock and roll, and then the other set he said, have fun. So I went, oh, okay then. So there was all this funk stuff and this blues stuff. And I never knew I was a blues singer. So at the age of 27, Mr. Billy Kavanagh, who died this year, uh, we just want to say, you know, thank you. He found me at a blues jam, mentored me, taught me, and the embass did the rest. So thank you, you know, for fostering an amazing, amazing place. This one's called What's Wrong With You? <laughs> Thank you. 
treat me rough But if I'm around with you I'm never put in love Tell me baby Honey what's wrong with you? Well, tell me baby what's wrong with you? You don't know a good thing when you see it baby Stand here right here in front of you Tell me baby what's wrong with you? We are getting to some Christmas tunes, but before we do that, uh, this is a song I wrote for my mum. Anyone have any problems with their mum, or is it just me? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is a therapy song. It's a song I wrote about how I just never got it right. <laughs> but you know the cool thing was she was at the gig when I, when I sang this song, and she, she passed away in 2012, and she heard this song, I thought, man, I'm going to get slapped from here to Christmas. But you know what? She actually loved it. So I really want to say to all the mums out there doing the best job you can. Hands. You know, I know she did the best job she, job she could. So this is for my mum, Joyce. This is called Mama Got It Wrong Sometimes Too. <laughs> I want to 
Christmas. Last year we got to sing this next song in front of 30,000 people. It was terrifying, wasn't it, John? They called us in the last minute because the headliner pulled out. They said, you guys, you have no idea what these songs are, just come sing them. There'll be the Navy Band and you. Okay, we said. So we did. And we were told, like two kids backstage going, turn around the world, let's go. <laughs> no, okay, that's all right, let's do it anyway. So we did. So this one's called Merry Christmas, Baby. This is an Otis, Otis Reading tune. Hope you like it. Great song.
this tune to check this out. This one's called New Orleans. Everybody up, let's sing, let's dance. Merry Christmas, y'all. Have a wonderful Christmas. God bless you all. Want to say thank you to the NBAs for having us. To take us out in a little blues party for you. Are you ready to sing? Are you ready to sing, somebody? Down the new I said, hey, yeah, come on. Hey, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You guys, I don't see enough booty shaking. Now, I always say I feel very sorry for the skinny girls. Because I got all this going on. So take your booty, shake it down. Ha, 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 ha. I said, hey, hey, hey.
You know, I used to think I was uh, not a twin. Then I met this one. Turns out I'm a twin. We share a brain cell. My soul brother from another mother, John McNamara, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, what a pleasure it's been here jam with Andrew again. Five years of this. What a joy it's been in the marvellous band. Going completely apeshit for the one and only uh, Andrew Marr, ladies and gentlemen, please.